What's up shifters? Welcome back to Shifting Lanes and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in again. I promised you in the last video that I would be modding this car, my 2016 Volvo V60 Polestar, and today I'm going to do exactly that. So I'm going to spin the camera around and sort of tell you exactly what I'm going to do because it's not a mod per se that it's going to be a performance thing, but it's just going to make the car sound a whole lot better all of the time. Let me explain. So when Volvo made this car, they made a special exhaust for it. And I'm gonna show you sort of a little bit of what that means. So obviously there is no third pedal here, bummer. We don't get a manual transmission in this car. However, you do get a six speed automatic with something called sport mode. So when the car is on, you bring this down and shift it over. Like a lot of modern transmissions, you can push it up and down or use these paddles here to control the shifting. Now, what that means is you get a bit of a sportier feel to the car. It makes it a little bit more taut on the throttle response and the shifts and everything like that. It also means that you get a bit more noise because when Volvo made this car, they gave it a two and a half inch Polestar exhaust. And underneath, there is a valved, an electronically valved um, or electronic bypass to this exhaust. And it's controlled by putting it into sport mode. So what I'm gonna do is just open up this trunk. Beautiful wagon, cavernous trunk. I'm gonna go underneath because I actually have done something to this car before and I'm going to show you it right now. Now as we go inside with my very stable and not ghetto at all prop bars. Um, doesn't look like anything special in here, we, to be quite honest. You got your sort of, you know, rear bulkhead, which is part of the car. You have your tire inflator kit, your tow hook. Um, you got a uh, crowbar, you know, jack, uh, you know, everything that comes with the car. Then you have a whole bunch of different electronics. And at first glance, these electronics kind of don't look like anything special. However, if you go over here, this is sort of where the exhaust is controlled. And this little box is something I bought last year from uh, a new buddy of mine. And his name is Stefan Berglund. And he runs SBP Remote. Uh, over here on the screen, I will drop a little thing to his Instagram. And if you have a valved exhaust, you should really go check him out because he does this for all these Polestar and he actually is also doing it with Lamborghinis and things like that. So if you have a valved exhaust on your car, maybe give him a call because I think you're probably going to be able to maybe have him help you out if you want to make it, you know, party mode all the time. This is the original one I got from him. It was about 200 bucks. So really easy to, you know, simple, not super expensive mod to make your car super, super loud all the time. Normal exhausts cost, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars, sometimes into the many thousands of dollars. But since this car has a really nice exhaust on it already from Polestar, all you need is something like this to control the exhaust whenever you want. And it comes with this nice little remote originally so that when you do anything that you want you can kind of just do this so a is open and b is closed now you don't have the option to do this before the car starts which is what this little box is for up here this is the updated sbp remote and it has an updated key fob on it so let me open this up and i'll show you guys exactly what this is so with all that out of the box there's really not a lot different here there's a couple of little different wires going on in here and i have instructions and i'll tell you exactly how to program this thing but you can see old key fob or old fob a and b new one on, off, and auto. So you can actually, this one will be able to give you the programming for your car before it turns on. This one you have to have it on and then you hit A and everything would kind of go party mode. But this one gives you the opportunity to program it before the car is on. So let me get this installed and then I'm going to show you exactly what this does because it's really cool and I'm not really gonna give you a before and after of the sound because this is stock. There's nothing really crazy here. If you've heard any of these exhausts, it's literally just valve closed, valve open. Uh, I'll put some clips here of me driving by with it uh, closed and open so you kind of get a sense of how loud the car is. So yeah, as you guys can hear, this thing sounds 
really quiet actually um, with the valve closed. And that's really nice because it's sort of nice neighbor mode. You can kind of just pop it back into normal drive and then you won't wake up your neighbors or you know, I have two young kids that are four and two. So if they're taking a nap or anything, I can kind of just sneak back into the garage, which is really good. But at full chat with the thing, <laughs> the valve wide open, this thing screams and it sounds so, so good. Um, so without further ado, let me install this box from SBP Remote and we are going to see exactly how this works with it being off and I can actually program it without having to turn the car on and then go into party mode. All right, so she's all buttoned back up. So this is just the new box and everything should work as programmed. I'm just gonna tuck this back here where it was last time. Now I just put this right here, nothing crazy, and it just kind of slots in there and sits there, which is great. Um, I'll tie this down or uh, put, say, put a, a zip tie on it a little bit later after the video because why bore you with that? But here's the really cool part about this because not only do you get this remote, which I'll show you what this does, but you'll also get this remote, which is really neat. And this actually programs the car. So when you have the car on, you basically hit on to have both valves open. Now this car actually has uh, two valves that open. So on gives you both valves, off gives you totally off, and auto gives you like kind of lets the car decide. So you can kind of do each one of these things. Now what this does is it lets you program it. So say, you know, on over here corresponds to A and you want it on all the time when you do a cold start, you just hit A and D at the same time and you will always have the valves open for a cold start on the car. So that is really, really awesome. And I love that it has this functionality. So yeah, go check out SBP remote if you want this solution for your car. It's super easy, guys. I'm not really a wrench. <laughs> I was able to figure this out. It's basic wiring in a little computer thing. So, or in a little uh, microchip setting. And it just tucks right back in there. Like, the, no one will ever see this. And these things, these, these remotes, you can just put them right in the middle of your car. So, with that said, let's go take a few rips because I feel like going for a drive. Now that the the whole thing's buttoned up. Quick point of clarification. So I said that there's an on and off and an auto and that these buttons sort of correspond to each one of them. So the A corresponds to on, B corresponds to auto, and C corresponds to off. Now basically what this car has is it sort of auto defaults to having one valve open. So if you hit auto, you're gonna get one valve open. If you hit off, you're gonna have everything's off, everything's closed super quiet if you hit on everything's open and when you want to program it so a plus d is all on a plus or b plus d is all auto and c plus d is all off so um yeah it's it's really really sort of a simple operation but if you want to do it a plus d at the same time is all on that is everything is open and you will get cold starts of really awesome volvo noises all the time so with that said Let's hop in, let's take a quick drive. Are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing this? Hold up. Look at that, look at that, 50 degrees. Oh my, it's February and it's 50 degrees out. Yes, so much yes. Really hope it gets warmer real fast so I can put the summers back on this car. We can take it to the dyno. So now sort of a perfect time to get you guys to see. So this is sort of how it is with the valves totally off. And you can kind of tell it's like pretty quiet in here, but if I turn over here, and then I kind of get on it. Like you get engine noise, like you get a, a good amount of noise when you really get on it. It's not the same as with the valves open, but it's pretty loud. And when you want to go like normal speed, you can kind of just go normal speed and it's a really good cruiser. So now I've switched sides and I'm going to kind of like pull away slowly so I can get this car away from me so I can, this is with valves open. <laughs> I get such a difference. It's crazy. Uh, and it sounds so good too. This isn't like something that, it's not just piped in sound. This is full on exhaust 
gloriousness. And I love the way this thing sounds. Inline six, this is the first inline six cylinder engine I've ever owned. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna own it the rest of my life. This thing is insane sounding. Ah, I just love it, it's so good. And with the windows down in the spring, it's even better because then you get the full aural assault on your senses, your hearing, and it just sounds so damn good. I wish there was a place around here that I could like launch it from because there's really nowhere around here. I have to like go somewhere to actually find a place to launch it for you guys. But I swear in the next video or two, I will get you a launch and a rip all the way up to 6,500 RPM as well as um, a, <laughs> I can't, can't even talk. <laughs> I love the sound of this car so much. Uh, but yeah, in the next video or two, I will give you guys a full chat sort of sound clip. Uh, I'll throw the GoPro on the back of the car. I'll also do a dig from launch all the way up to 6,500 6, RPM through all the first four gears. And you guys will get a real taste of it because I'm just giving you like little snippets. And honestly, the camera does not do it justice. Like it is just not the same. And I'm trying to do the best I can by bringing you these clips, but it's just not the same. It is, however, glorious. Okay, so back home, just wanted to give you guys a little quick anything on this car because it's just it's an amazing car and I love it the SPP remote is perfection thank you Stefan for sending that over um, if you do want to get in touch with him about any valve exhaust specifically for the V60 Polestars also Lamborghini stuff uh, or if you have a valve exhaust and are looking for someone to bounce ideas off of check the description below all of the information will be in there or you can just go to Instagram and I'll put it right down here on the bottom of the screen I believe it's SBP underscore remote super easy to find but Stefan is the man this thing works perfectly and that'll do it for the, today's video so uh, if you liked it please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and please consider subscribing because you know we are going to be making a ton more videos like this on the channel for you guys and if you haven't already go check out our facebook page or check out our brand new live channel here on youtube we're going to be live streaming every monday at 8 p.m eastern standard time or est over on facebook and simulcasting it here on youtube i'll drop both of those links in the description below as well as for my volvo v60 polestar and as for me I'm Gregson, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!